Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you join me once again on Transport Fever 2 Peninsula 2. That's uh, a score draw there. Uh, we've put behind us the mining peninsula and, uh, and the mainland for the time being. Uh, and we turn ourselves to the nightmare hellscape uh, that is the second island. And I mean, look at it. I mean, how are you supposed to work with this? Yet work with this we shall, friends. We will turn it into a farming paradise. Probably. We're running very much with a quick, slow, quick, slow kind of approach to today's video. So uh, we start out quick, uh, where it's all about uh, getting the land smoothed in a way that both looks like it's it's supposed to look that way and uh, and also has some functionality to it. Now, when we did the uh, the mining, the, the principle was we're carving out a mine from the side of a mountain. This time around, I'm, I'm trying to, to form kind of a plateau idea, like a, a, a steps, so we can get some stepped farms uh, going on on the island. Uh, it's, you know, it's a relatively simple process, to be honest. Uh, you've just got to make sure that the, uh, the height between those steps is going to work with whatever transport you try and set up running over it, whether it's trucks or trains. They're not particularly thrilled about going up and down hills. So you end up doing lots of, uh, of really quite appealing scenic routes. And who doesn't like a scenic route? Anyway, the other goal here is to put in slightly more producers than I had uh, on the last island because uh, we want to uh, we want to run something fairly beefy uh, to uh, to get that distributed to food processing because quite a lot of cities are going to use food. So uh, so we want to process quite a bit of it. That's the plan anyway. Um, so a whole bunch of them hooked up to one train line rather than multiple lines this time around. It, I think it's going to work out quite well. Um, we don't want to completely destroy the character of the island. That's always going to be a goal uh, that we're trying to achieve there. But the upshot should be we end up with something that looks quite good. Should we have a look at it now? Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, six farms set up. Now, they're all pretty Spartan at the moment, and uh, and this inter, interspaced, interlying, intercity, oh, whatever, uh, areas that are between each of the farms there, I'm going to put uh, a couple of tiny, 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 tiny uh, towns in there. Not yet, because we're not ready. Um, and, uh, and those towns... Well, I mean, hopefully they're going to be kind of village size, representing the, the the kind of the farming folk. That's the that's the aim, anyway. Um, but I've gone with six, whereas we only went with three mines on the other side, did we? Well, okay, three coal mines, yes, and then okay, yeah, I had another three iron mines as well. Uh, so we're going to go with six here, and that will feed down to food processing on the other end of this island. So rather the, rather the same idea. Uh, and then we'll probably put a big town in here. So we've got a, a bunch of little towns going on here. A uh, big town in there. Maybe one over here. Maybe one down there. We'll wait and see. And then obviously we're going to uh, we're going to gouge a, uh, a canal through there and, and stick a port in. And that'll look groovy. Uh, I'll also probably do a big, great bridge over the top of that as well. It's gonna look great. Trust me, it's gonna. It's all. Oh, I tell you, it's gonna be. It's gonna be brilliant. Now, the approach that I've taken as far as the flattening this time around is I wanted to do it slightly differently. Whereas last time it was all about gouging out of the side of the the kind of mountain. Uh, this time I've gone for a, a stepped kind of plateau idea. Firstly, because it will make uh, moving transport around a little bit easier, whether that's road or rail. It's probably going to be road. I would have thought. Um, uh, but secondly, so it's different. Uh, you know, doing something uh, similar on every single uh, island that I run across, so they're, they're, that's not going to give me the variety that I'm after. So yes, we've still gone for some heavy flattening, but but that's about it. Right, good. Next steps is what? Well, it's, it's going to be how you're going to connect this lot up. Yes. Now the the easy thing to do would be. We're not necessarily going to do the easy thing. Uh, the easy thing to do uh, would be to uh, to truck all the uh, all the the, the, the crops. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, truck all the crops up to a central station and then power it up using something big. Do you know what? I think I might actually do that because that would be different. Uh, plus. Uh, I've decided that this is going to be a sort of Midwestern approach that we've got going on here, and, and that means this is where we're going to put our whacking great 
uh, American freight mega haulers. Uh, at least the first batch. I don't know if we'll do more elsewhere or not. Haven't decided yet. So where, then, clever clogs, are you going to put this? I don't know. What's the longest station I can build? Uh, we are going to uh, endeavour not to build trains longer than the stations. I might need a bigger station than this, you know. Uh, length of track goes up to a thousand. No, hold on. I think we're uh, I think we're in business. So a thousand is quite long. Yeah, it will fit in there, and then with a little bit of modification, you could make that work. That's that's really long. Yeah, but it is actually appropriate for the. Uh, it is actually appropriate for the length of train that you're likely to run. And secondly, uh, I want to run this uh, as a helix. I don't want to do a front and back uh, kind of approach to this one, even if it, it would be uh, it would be quite sensible. So if we're running one train as the pickup, so one really beefy train, and then a whole bunch of... See, look, this is what you get when I don't do it at high speed. You get me pontificating for minutes on end. Um... Yeah, one really beefy train to do the to do the run. How far is it going to go? Well, long enough to make a difference. Well, it's not. Look, if you're... Yeah, look, scroll out. Look, let's say you put one station about there, right? And your processing is just the other side of these ridges. You're looking at uh, a train length of a kilometre versus a, what, three? three and a half kilometer distance that it actually has to travel it barely seems worth the effort well how about this as an alternate concept what if food pre processing wasn't here oh now you're interesting yeah no no now now we're now we're having a conversation so instead of doing anything radical uh on the island here the rest of the space you use up with uh, with towns and what have you and then put your food processing over on the mainland that way, you could run more than one of these big beasts. Oh, I very much like what you're talking about here. Right, we're going for a kilometre long train. Because uh, that's as long as the station will do. Now, I will tart this station up a little bit. So that it, uh, uh, so it looks like a station rather than just a big bit of track. Uh, but I'll do that, you know, as part of my uh, uh, in-between episodes tidy up moment. That will actually fit in there quite nicely. Okay, is that where we're going? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, I think instead of, of just sticking it straight in, though, what we ought to do is uh, is get a flat segment to kind of cover the whole of the, the station length. So if we go, what are you doing? Not a huge amount, Chief. All right, okay, well, look, dial that up a bit. How wide are we talking here? It's not, uh, it's not getting it done very quickly. All right, okay, up the tempo on the brush size. Try now. Oh yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's, everything's coming up, coming up splendidly. Really? Is that on the same height? Is it? Okay. It's because the, it's because this ridge top here is is going up. You see, so just by staying flat, it makes it look like it's not. It's all good. It's like science and perspective and and, uh, and all of that. How the human eye behaves, kind of business that we're all so very used to. Uh, and then, I don't think you've got the angle right there, son. Ah, trust me, it'll be all right. Yeah, no, you see what you've got mm, is the angle wrong. Yeah, but if I change the angle, yeah, all right, I'll allow it. Uh, okay, so we're going to gouge through that bit of rock there, then smooth out the rest of this. Now, the reason for doing it this way, Rance, is if you try and smooth after you've placed the thing, frequently it'll go like, yeah, 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 I've smoothed the whole thing, apart from this bit. You kind of go, could you do that bit too? No, no, can't do that bit. Why not? Oh, you know, the usual. What, well, no, I don't know. What's what's the usual when it's at home? Ah, that'll be telling. So, yeah, so we won't do that. So we do, we do a bit of flattening up front, and then, then it should all be peachy. Should be. I'm pretty sure it's this ridge that I wanted to gouge through. Let's say it is, just for the sake of argument. And if it isn't, then I'll uh, I'll make this au naturel afterwards. So yeah, so in case I, I haven't repeated myself enough times yet, all of the space that we've got in here that I've already flattened out, that's going to be kind of smoothed and it's going to be filled in with uh, with some lovely lovely looking fields. I expect that to be some kind of speed type build paraphernalia behavior malarkey next time round. 
uh, and that'll come up absolutely super flipping duper because uh, I mean what else would it do I know yeah I know you're, you're expecting it all to be super duper from here on in why are you not complying with me I really think you ought to okay all right there you go have some of that yeah I'll just make it a little bit less uh subtle and then you should be golden all right well that's about as unsubtle as it needs to be so let's see if that will just slot in yeah it will now i want this relatively far down the island just to give us further to travel you see so uh, we'll stick that in there now do you want two tracks do you want one track no we should never have more than one train in this station at a time plus what I've discovered from uh, the other routes that I've stuck in is if you do one of the if you do the the routes in the way that I have been doing on occasion, uh, whereby you have it do two laps so it stops in different platforms, it looks quite good. But the uh, the platforms themselves they do not uh, grab the goods at an equal rate. You put electrification on there, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll get rid of it. It's okay. It'll be good. Uh, catenary, no, thank you. Uh, we'll give you a oh tracks a track top speed of seventy, bit higher, eighty. Yeah, there you go. That'll do. Just just on just on here, please. I don't I don't think it's playing ball, Gov. But how can you tell? Because it's not playing ball. Oh, okay. All right. What if I were to change what? Where's where's my cursor gone? I had a cursor once upon a time. It's it's oh it's there. Look, it's because it's got a flipping camouflage green arrow going on. All right, well, look, there you go. There it is. Because um, this is a non-editable station, unless it isn't. Configure this. Oh, hold on. Yeah, uh, catenary. No. Street connection. Yeah. All right, good. Close that down. That's better. Right, okay, good. So, next job is to uh, is to set up trucking lines near here, and I think I'll actually stick in the, uh, the a couple of little villages... Uh, to get this started so stick around i'll do this at high speed right so i've chosen this particular truck stop uh to uh, to drop stuff off and uh, and we've got a couple of them largely so that uh, so i can have different fields going to uh, going to different truck stops i don't know i'll probably change my mind on that I'm, I'm not thrilled about the truck stops that i've got and frankly i haven't poked around the steam workshop there weren't a lot to choose from uh which is why i end up using default stops for uh, for all the farms themselves now this was supposed to be just a quick little burn through of uh, of a bit of extra buildage going on here but for some reason i decided that it would be absolutely ruddy magnificent to have one-way roads uh coming from the station and to the station and the station uh so uh, so it took me quite a long time to decide actually what's the what's the best way to do this so i went all oh, roundabout yeah roundabouts they're, they're quite on vogue right now find a nice place to put it yeah that's all good go and i'll i'll just work that up alongside the other no no i've changed my mind uh we'll go out the other way instead there you go camera going all over the place as i'm zooming around like some kind of clown uh, nice little o-ring on the end of there oh yes uh, it's very tasteful um now part of the reason for for laying out more road than is necessary you know this already if you've been paying attention to the series is uh, is to ensure that when i plunk the towns in uh, they actually build it up in a way that is conducive. Do you think I could have spent the time and maybe made those a little bit more parallel? Yeah, I think so too. No, that's not going to work, mate. No, no, I know. I, well, I, I, to be honest, I already know what the solution is that I come up with. And I go, oh, I hate all of this. <laughs> but if I have this bend round, it's all groovy. And then we can just lead it off like that. That'll do nicely. Um, now, quite a lot more redevelopment on this is going to be needed. Because uh, it is. I might go into more detail. Uh, okay, what's the more detail? I don't like a lot of it. Uh, I think some of it looks quite effective, but I think in a practical sense, uh, it leads, leaves uh, a little to be desired. Also, the whole point of leaving all of this tiered, platformed whatnot uh, was to ensure that I could uh, I could bung some fields in and they would look compelling and interesting and different and nouveau. Not so much on the fields, as you will plainly see before our time is done here. Oh, spoilers. You will plainly see before our time is done here. Anyway, the link-ups are all quite nice. Uh, we managed to get all the, all the fields hooked up to the station, which is what we were after in the first place. Um, not too much uh, maximum steepage of hill. Uh, 
I go uh, one, two notches below uh, maximum steepage to uh, to avoid excess steepitude. Look, I've, I've reached a point in my career now where I can make words up and you can just kind of go, oh, yeah, all right. Uh, so because I'm going to uh, to stick in the uh, the AI villages, I decided, actually, let's get this uh, this rail track out of here uh, so that uh, so it doesn't, you know, have to bulldoze half of what I've just placed. You know, literally just what I've, half of what I've just placed. Going to go, oh, yeah, that's good. But hold on, no, that's not what I intended to do. We need to do a loop round at the other end. Now, what I'm doing with bridges, this bridge here, I'll replace that pretty quickly. I decided to get the track in place and just move on. We don't want roller coaster bridges if we can avoid them. A nice big bridge, not a problem. Uh, but a, an implausible bridge, bit of a problem. So, uh, so no, we don't. Uh, leave, look, it's placeholder. I will make it more beautiful as time goes on. So, look, I thought this through as well. I'm not too thrilled about it having a double pillar at one end, but. You know, you you, t you take the cards that you've been dealt and you, you look at them and, and you try and bluff your opponent and say, no, 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 it'll all be good. Everything will be absolutely flipping groovy. Um, and, and it is pretty much always, always flipping groovy. Uh, opportunity for a bit of bridge action going here, but I decided against it. No, I thought a nice little canyon road uh, is all good. Now, because we're using trucks here to, uh, to transport our, our valuable commodities, uh, I... I can just deploy an absolute, well, I say what's a good, uh, an absolute uh, monkey load of, uh, of trucks in order to get the job done. So yes, it's a bit of a long route. Yeah, it's going as the crow flies would make quite a lot more money. Uh, but uh, scenic, we're, we're all about the scenic. I'll put that bit of road in wrong. That's okay, we'll just bung the uh, chung, bung chung, chung, chung the brock stop up there. This is, this is how one spoon arises, and this is how one becomes somewhat embarrassed on a live stream. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. I'm never doing that again. No. Hmm. Yes. Well, uh, hmm. I'm, I'm pressing ahead, but I'm not sold on this yet. Uh, right. Why am I not sold on this yet? Uh, I quite like this car park arrangement that we've got going on here. That's, that's quite nice. What's missing, though, is, uh, you know, depots and storages and warehouses and all of that kind of thing, which I can do with the assets that I've got, but I want it to line the whole length of the station. Now, I, I, I got carried away and built this mar marvellous one-way system that I imagine almost nobody's going to use. Nah, well, whatever. They'll either use it or they won't, and if I don't, they'll, they'll bull just bulldoze it. Um, we've got the track looping around, and it's it's taken a scenic route. I'm trying to keep it above surface where possible uh, for, the, for the views, you know. I mean, look. Look at the view. Yeah, all right. There's not much to see there yet, but there will be. Ah, so it's all it's all good. So we're leading off that way, and we're gonna we're gonna meander down around here, and then I, I came up with a came up with a notion about the port, which I'm not going to talk about. Um, but overall, I mean, look, yeah, see, look, it's it's quite pleasing. Um, I I think that there's there's merit in it, in there. But uh, the last thing to do is uh, is to actually place some towns. So we're going to make these tiny. Um, and uh, random commercial? Yeah, why not? Why not? It means we'll need to deliver some stuff, but I've already got pickup going on. I think three in here will uh, will fit quite nicely. And, uh, and yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm intrigued to see how it pads out. So let's, uh, let's, let's fire the first one in there. Bungie. Well, you won't be called that for long. You'll be renamed before the next episode. Don't you worry. Uh, and then the second one in, ooh, about there. Go on, go on, go on. Nice. Now, obviously, I'm going to need to re-smooth quite a lot of stuff here. But again, this is this is why we like to build the infrastructure before placing the town down. Is uh, uh, that way the the little towns they end up using the infrastructure a little bit. I think we might actually go four. You know, no, you need some field space. Still need some field space. Okay, all right. Well, in which case, the last one we will stick out here in Roundabout Central. Richmond upon Thames. Richmond upon doubt it. Uh, right, okay, look, that's good. Now, uh, unconventionally, we're not actually going to run anything this time around. No, we're going we're to leave it more or less as is. It's going to need a little bit of, little bit of work just to uh, just to get it to a point where where I like the looks of it. Uh, but we won't be running trains on here 
until there are trains to run on here. Now, these towns are actually going to grow by themselves without me interfering. In fact, let's whack this on high speed because there will be some road traffic. Here comes a bold warrior now. Where he heading? He's going down the one-way system. Oh, my life is complete. Fine. Okay. In which case, come here. Oh, it's a VW camper as well. He's just out for a trundle. Uh, right, there we go. So there you go. That's your lot. That's it. No, we're done for this time. Yeah. Interesting. How will it work? We won't set up trucks until we've got the trains deployed and then that will be going as well. I've got to rename all these facilities. Uh, I've done a bit of smoothing on the on the cliff sides already, but I've uh, got to do a bit more. Anyway, next time around, we will put in the other towns on this island. Um, and, uh, and it's going to be a, a slightly more in-depth approach. I want to do a, uh, a kind of a traditional uh, American-style grid-based layout for at least one of them. Um, given that this is Americana, yeah, I know, this is what all the houses in America look like. Though, and I totally do. I've been, there, I've been there dozens of times, and therefore uh, it's all totally authentic. Well, well authentic, this is. Yep, there's no, no European leaning on any of this at all be quiet um right so thank you very much I, that person was walking at a bit of a tilt uh right yeah thanks very much for tuning in i've been kind of failure uh sling a sling a subscription in this direction if uh, if you can bring yourself to oh we're there we went to the total shop well we totally totally did uh yeah next time i've told you about next time we were doing the the, the bit after next time oh okay the bit after next time is uh, blah, 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 blah. do a bit of subscription yeah yeah uh, fling a like at this if you can be bothered and uh, yeah we'll be back soon look at this it's nice I put I put this in not because it was going to go anywhere but because if you're going up the road you want to be able to turn around at the end of it it's nice I'm gonna go mad with the tree gun as well before the next one we're gonna put I'm gonna put in fields go mad with the tree gun and uh, and then we'll have something not sure what it'll be but we'll have something. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. Well, there you go. Some some hot plateau farm action, which is not a phrase that you're going to hear very often. So you're welcome. Uh, enjoy that and ride it as you find it. Uh, now, I do, I'm I'm quite happy with the overall look of the uh, of the kind of the tiered farming that we've got going on. It's now just a case of making it look right. Uh, and uh, and with the the towns placed in there, I might have to do some judicious road reorganization to make that happen now as i mentioned earlier i'm, I'm probably going to change those uh, those truck stops uh move them around a little bit so that we can make the station look like it's actually holding on to some freight in the first place oh that'll be fun i mean it's a couple of hours worth of tinkering around with this that and the other thing but i think the upshot will be quite pleasant anyway next time around we're going to play some more cities so uh so i expect it won't be uh, a maximum speed effort next time around. I think I think we'll probably go for something a little bit more leisurely paced uh, in order to uh, two two cities. I'm thinking maybe three, probably two, but maybe three. Oh, I haven't put a passenger station up at this end. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Yeah, maybe there will be a bit of speed action then. You're just going to tune in and find out, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, and you will. <laughs>